Hey there guys, today I want to talk to you about Mushin. This is a Japanese concept and I'm going to pull this right from the Wikipedia page so you understand a bit about what Mushin is and how it can apply to your Crucible game. I'm still getting used to sky sniping so I probably overdo it in this match a bit. Mushin is a mental state into which very highly trained martial artists are said to enter during combat. They also practice this mindset during everyday activities. The term is shortened from Mushin no Shen, a Zen expression meaning no mind without mind, and is also referred as a state of no mindness. That is, a mind not fixed or occupied by thought or emotion and thus open to everything. I totally botched that snipe, I know, forgive me. I totally redeemed myself at the end though. Mushin is achieved when a person's mind is free from thoughts of anger, fear, or ego during combat or everyday life. There is an absence of discursive thought and judgment, so the person is totally free to act and react towards an opponent without hesitation and without disturbance from such thoughts. At this point, a person relies not on what they think should be the next move, but what is their trained natural reaction or what is felt intuitively. This is not a state of relaxed near sleepfulness, however. The mind could be said to be working at a very high speed, in fact, but with no intention, plan, or direction. Check this shout out. Boom! There will be many more to come. A legendary Zen master, Taquan Soho, I probably butchered that, he said, the mind must always be in the state of flowing, for when it stops anywhere, that means the flow is interrupted, and it is this interruption that is injurious to the well-being of the mind. In the case of the swordsman, it means death. When the swordsman stands against his opponent, he is not to think of the opponent, nor of himself, nor of his enemy's sword movements. He just stands there with his sword, which, forgetful of all technique, is ready only to follow the dictates of the subconscious. The man has effaced himself as the wielder of the sword. When he strikes, it is not the man, but the sword in the hand of the man's subconscious that strikes. Now, I know this is mainly for martial arts, but I really feel this concept can be applied to any skilled trade that you do, whether it be uh, a physical sport or in you're into computers and even gaming. So in case you're still wondering why I'm even going into something as deep as Japanese philosophy, it's because when you get to highly competitive PvP, your mind is just as important as your physical hands on the controller. Here's a good concept. The actual act of teabagging is meant to tilt you. If you haven't heard of tilt, it means put you over the edge and make you angry. Uh, apparently it derives from the pinball machine when you got angry at the pinball machine and you banged on it and tilted the machine. So in highly competitive modes like Trials of Osiris, if, uh, if somebody were to teabag you, like let's say in the first round, it's a very good chance that he's trying to mentally throw off your game. Football players do this all the time where uh, after they tackle a guy, they'll say, put their hand on their opponent's helmet as they're standing up to get up because they want to make them mad and screw up their performance. This is a very subtle tactic that can have exponential effects on any player's skill. So you got to keep this in mind when, you know, somebody is teabagging you in PvP, you know. I still get mad, but I, I try not to because it could affect my performance as well as yours. So back to Mushin. There was a lot of stuff said there. Um, I want to try and break it down a little bit. What it basically is saying is what I said in my last video when I was doing all that rambling. You have to create these good habits and make them second nature where you're not even thinking about it anymore. Your muscle memory is going to do the work for you. Your instinct is going to know exactly what to do and when. Your instinct is going to automatically tell you if you should go for that snipe or should you toss your nade and then use your primary. Or should you run away? Should you push up? Your instinct is going to make these good decisions for you because you've created good habits. I really thought I had this shot because I've done it before and no, totally botched it. You can create these good habits by first paying attention to what you're actually doing then rewiring your techniques or your movements to coincide with good habits, replacing bad ones. Um, a lot of people like to downplay um, 6v6 matches in Crucible. 
I think that is a big mistake. What I like about 6v6 is that it, especially something like Clash, is that it doesn't really give you time to think. As long as the team is active and nobody's camping, it really doesn't give you time to think, which is what I realized when uh, Iron Banner Clash was around a few weeks ago. That there's just so much going on, I had no choice but to rely on my reactive time and my instinct. So, as you can see in this match, I don't always make the best decisions. And because n I still have some bad habits. In retrospect, of course I can look at this footage and say, yeah, that was a bad decision but I'm still creating good habits just like many of you. So that's what I like about 6v6 is because um, most people don't like all that chaos, but I, it will benefit you. It'll force you to make your decisions based off of instinct. And that repetitiveness of constantly tapping into your instinct will help you solidify those good habits that you've already created by you know, going into 3v3s and taking your time, slowing it down, breaking down your gameplay, and creating those good habits and then you solidify them by going into 6v6 and just repeating them over and over and over without thinking. See that's that's what's great about Trials is that it is a high stakes competitive multiplayer mode so that's going to affect, affect your mental game. And then it's a 3v3 that's fairly slow paced compared to 6v6 so you have more time to overthink your moves, overthink your decisions and you could make a mistake there. So that's why I wanted to talk about Mushin today, to help many of you realize that the mental game is just as important as the physical game. So know when you're tilting, know when you're doubting yourself. This was actually the highlight of the entire match. I see this guy activate Arc Blade, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get him. And then I totally botched that, but I take another shot at it. Boom, game over. Know when you have bad habits, or bad decision making and correct them and know when to stay in the moment. I actually stopped inspecting um, other players for the most part. I like to see if they're running sniper or shotgun but even that's starting to die down a bit. I, I just no longer inspect people in trials because it doesn't matter what they have I'm still going to respond to them in the same way I always do which is play my best. It doesn't matter if what kind of subclass they are, what kind of gear they have on, what kind of primary they have, what kind of class item they have. <laughs> Some people actually look at like ghosts and class items. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. What matters is your game. So don't even inspect anyone anymore in Trials because it doesn't matter, at least in my opinion. Well, I guess that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. Just tell me what you think in the comments below. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.